Hi Leo, welcome to this community. My name's Sophia. Now what I was picking up was you was waiting or expecting some kind of communication. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I was just getting. I was just like, uh, kind of like the phone rings, you're just going to the phone expecting it to be your person or something like that or text. So let's see what this is about. It's kind of a to the point, but let's see. I think you're, I don't know if it's your person, there's something about good news or or optimistic or something like that so maybe you're in a good mood let's see anyway so the ten of cups and the ace of cups so that's a lot of emotions here and the fool so it's like you'll jump ten of cups to the fool so yeah emotionally feeling emotionally feeling fulfilled this could be a move like you moved or you're more outside now so there's somewhere something that you've done that there's somebody you're going that is made you more calmer and more emotionally fulfilling i feel um but this is different ah oh, because you've done that this is about your person now getting into their emotional state so to me it's a good reading well so far let's see because the Ten of Cups, I think, is that out of all, well, I can't say, but I don't really notice that I've ever done a reading with the Ten of Cups first. And underneath it, the Ace of Cups with the uh, with the Fool. So that, and the King of Cups here. So this looks good so far. So if you're at the point of total alignment, then this is the point where you're uh, uh, bringing into someone who's going to have a new start. And this is where the emotional offer comes up. The King of Cups is, yeah, your person, this is interesting, hold on, the different energies are in and out. This is definitely alignment because I'm feeling the energy of you and your person. So it's like you doing the work to the Ten of Cups. Because you're jumping into something that's unknown. You're doing the healing. is pulling your person towards you. Because what I'm getting, because when it's a twin flame starseed light worker reading, the energy, because you're one, and especially when it's at the ten of cups, that's a combination of oneness. Because you fall in a one with self, because of that's complete alignment. The ten of cups is the complete tree of life. So I've got the tree of life in the background. That's why I can't tell which one's who, but it's not that I can't tell. I feel it's both of you. From you working on yourself fully, healing yourself, jumping into that unknown is pulling your person into this emotional state, making your person show up with a new emotional offer. The 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 page of wands is like someone here has done the work. It's changed that player boy coming around shagging me attitude into knowing that's just the passion of this twin flame starseed connection and moved on to be the queen of wands and just gone on and pulled back the reptilian of turning your back on okay this is just as uh um this is just a a coming over casualty experience to more of a when he comes round or she comes round just sleeps with me I'm gonna it's like someone studied my work here this has got to be my work because I know no one else talks about stuff like this there's someone here that's doing my programs and doing my work because when your person comes around you're like you're releasing that um stage of they're just coming around for sleeping with me I'm going to pull back my reptilian and get on and do what I need to do heal this heal this drama go in and do the inner work the underneath here is this is yeah this is a brilliant reading this is making your person step up towards the twin flame because when you your person did come in that reptilian because you pulled back your reptilian of re reacting 
when I say reptilian, when your person comes round and just comes shag and go, that's them reactional of what they want, sex, but not them pulling back and saying, well, I just can't do that. I need to, you know, be committed and blah, blah, blah. So you pull back your reptilian understanding them or doing the work, which changed your person to get into their emotional state. Now work on themselves fully and come towards you. It's a brilliant reading. I don't know what else to say. I don't want to carry on and say anything else. It's short and sweet. This is an emotional offer. You've changed that <clears throat> player because you could feel what they really like. And this reading is the, the essence of my entirety of being on this channel. You transform this person who you think is a page of wands, <clears throat> a nightmare, just coming around, just having sh shag with you, not jumping into the unknown, but you feel them emotionally gooey side inside. You know, you know they dream about you, connected to you. Two, you just focusing 100 on yourself, and then they come with their emotional offer once you do this work. And they step up to that. I, I don't know, I'm repeating myself, I don't know what else to say. So, uh, well done you. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what else to say, that's it, well done. Keep doing what you're doing. Your emotional offer is here. And look, this is both of you, like I said, Ten of Cups you, because I can't, if there was an Ace of Cups with a female hand, that would be you, and this is him, you know, him, her, 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 so this is you, Ten of Cups, and this is your person, I don't know what to say, this is oneness and an alignment, so well done, okay, I'm out, speak to you later.